Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make my sort of go-to seeded sourdough bread. It can be made as a sandwich bread or as an artisan loaf, and it only requires some basic ingredients, so let's get to it. So for the ingredients, we have basic bread ingredients, flours, seeds, and of course our yeast, in a mixing bowl, we're going to add 80 grams of fed sourdough starter. I brought this thing from the States and it's been fantastic. Then we're going to add 490 grams of lukewarm water and mix until completely well combined. It'll be nice and frothy. We're going to add a combination of whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour, and salt and combine until the flour is completely saturated. This will help us induce the auto lease step, which is basically just letting the dough rest and allows for the development of gluten. After 30 minutes approximately of rest, we're going to add 175 grams of seeds. I chose to use pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and pine nuts. Not technically a seed, but still delicious and wonderful. You can choose chia seeds, etc. And you want to fold it in and then use the pincer method to squeeze the seeds into every little nook and cranny of the dough. Ideally with some wet hands, this is a very simple method. Basically you pinch with your index finger and thumb and allow it to rest for 15 minutes after everything is completely combined. And we're gonna do two stretch and folds 30 minutes apart. Now the stretch and folds are not gonna be super simple because this is a low hydration dough. But have no fear, just combine and stretch and fold to the degree that you can without ripping the dough. We're gonna let it bulk ferment. It can be anywhere between three to five hours. Knock out the air and we're gonna shape it to the size of a ball. On a lightly floured surface, we're gonna add some seeds and then shape the dough to the desired shape. It could be a boule or a batard. I chose kind of a combination of both here. And you wanna completely cover the dough without any flour because if you add flour first, it'll inhibit the seeds from sticking. So just add the seeds first and then cover with a little bit of flour dust the proving basket with flour as well to further prevent any sort of sticking and plop the dough right in there. Use your fingers to sort of pince the dough together. This just allows for the dough to spread a little less as it's proving but also maintain a nice shape. Um, and yeah, once it's done, you can let it prove overnight in the refrigerator. This allows you some time to kind of do other things. The day after, we're gonna take some parchment paper, add a little bit of flour to it, then dump the dough on top of it with the seeds facing you. Now we're gonna take a lame. Mine was very cheap and it works very well. There are some very expensive ones out there, so choose whatever you'd like. You can also do this with a very sharp or sort of rigid knife. A bread knife would honestly work pretty well and make a big slit inside of it. I like to make it pretty deep, especially because in this case, we're not using a Dutch oven to bake our bread. Now bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I think this is 220 Celsius for about 50 to 60 minutes, depending on the darkness of the loaf that you desire. And pull it out, let it completely cool, and then slice into it. This is a pretty basic recipe, very lovely, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe for videos every Friday and daily shorts. See you next time.